hey what's up guys this is Kamlesh from the Inbox Geek and in today's video we are going to be comparing uh, the 180 watt power adapter with 240 watt power adapter on my Alienware 17R2 over here which has got an Intel Core i7-4710HQ processor in it with Nvidia's 980M graphics card in it uh, well there have been uh, cases where people are saying that uh, 240 watt adapter actually boosts the performance of games and increases fps quite a bit on this on this alienware 17 so uh, uh it's better than what the stock 180 watt power adapter which you get so what are, what are we going to do here is we'll compare both of them i have 180 watt power adapter and 240 watt power adapter as well so uh, let's go ahead and run this game and see if we can see any noticeable difference or not so as of now i'm running this game and let me quickly show you guys the setting this display settings is so refresh rate is 60 and basic is off because i didn't want to gap off my fps uh, which is at the left hand side corner which you can see and the gpu max buffer frame is 3 texture is ultra and the analyzing is temporarily smaa so that's that and the graphics quality is set to ultra every single thing is set to ultra the ambient occasion set to hboa plus high that's the maximum it can reach and every single thing is set to ultra so let me quickly go ahead and uh, do a gameplay over here and let's see what are the frame rates which we are getting and yes guys uh, uh, the bios which i am running this game uh, i mean this laptop uh, as now is uh, AO2 yes, that's the bios version which I'm using. So as you can see at the left hand side corner I'm getting a decent frame rate of 53, 52, something like that, which is pretty good. No issues as of now. So I think this will do, uh, what I'll do over here is uh, I'll quickly switch my uh, uh, power adapter to, to 40 watt power adapter and let's see if we can see any other major difference or not. Oh. So I'll be back in a moment guys. Welcome back guys. So what I've done over here is I've plugged in my uh, 240 watt power adapter to my Inverse 17 R2. And before this I was having the A02 BIOS version and i did the test with 240 watt power adapter and a02 bios version and nothing seems to be changed i mean the frame rates were in like totally same uh, there were no difference at all so what i've done over here is i've uh, switched back to the a00 bios version which was the stock bios version i tried to uh, find the a01 bios version which i couldn't find so that's uh uh, drawback but uh, this was the stock bios version which i got the a001 not a001 uh, it was a00 so that was the stock bios version which i was able to find found and i highly did not recommend doing this you know downgrading your bios from something later because that can trip your bios and you might end up with a blue screen or something like that so it's highly risky do it at your own risk and uh, yes let's do, go ahead and uh, see if you get any difference or not so i quickly show you guys the settings the settings are exactly the same which it was when i plugged in my 180 watt power adapter as you can see uh it's exactly same i haven't changed anything graphics quality is again it's set to ultra and ambient occasion is this and so yeah that's that so let's go ahead and do a gameplay and see if we can see any difference at all same location and same thing uh, at the left hand side corner you can see the frame rates so i don't think uh, there is any increase or decrease i guess there is like one or two frame rates difference between the previous i mean uh, 240 watt power adapter and 180 watt power adapter i guess that's the only difference I could see as of now. I'll let you guys be the judge of it. So I really don't know why did uh, Alienware removed the uh, 
one, uh, sorry, E01 BIOS version. I don't know why they didn't do that, but if that would have been there, we could have had a better idea about what's going on. But many people were saying that switching back to E01 BIOS version, you are getting better performance, but I don't see you get any performance over here. So, so it's up to you guys to decide now whether investing in a better. Uh, adapter power adapter is worth it or not as of now i i honestly don't see any difference so yes that's that guys i hope this video was helpful and if you guys have any doubts any issues post in the comment section below and i'll make sure to help you guys out and again if you guys want me to play any other game in this piece then uh, feel free to mention it in the comment section below and i'll make sure to do that and uh, yes as always thanks for watching guys